Safety concerns on Interstate 26 in East Tennessee has been a continuing issue, and it's our top story tonight. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Casey Marler. Tonight, the Johnson City Commission voiced its concern over safety on I-26. News Channel 11's Jayana Scurry was at the commission and tells us about the concerns. Jayana joins us now live from Johnson City. What did you find out tonight? Sarah Casey behind me is Interstate 26 and it's along exit 24 there and within the last two years studies has found that around 800 crashes has happened along Interstate 26 in the Johnson City metro area and most of those crashes are occurring due to vehicles closely following behind. And there was a lot of probably distracted driving that's not always easy to determine who's distracted and who's not, but most of the, the crashes were related to people following too closely. At Johnson City's work session, traffic engineering manager Anthony Todd presented data of all the crash statistics on Interstate 26 from 2022 to 2023. Todd says they collected crash reports from different jurisdictions. They found many of the crashes happened around the Boone's Creek exits, the Bobby Hicks Highway Gray exits, State of Franklin Road exits, Roan Street exits, and the University Parkway exit. There are more crashes usually in the morning around the Gray exit and uh, Boone's Creek and also in the afternoon at Boone's Creek and then University Parkway. University Parkway, it happens at specific spots right there at the exit. And then the other locations, it's happening on both sides of the interchanges. Todd says some of the crashes happened due to the design of I-26. Some of the older designs didn't allow for as much merging or uh, the turns on the exits were a little too tight. There are some things that they can work on to, to improve. Uh, longer ramps and, and things of that nature can, can help. Todd says the traffic division has talked with the Tennessee Department of Transportation about I-26 safety concerns. Todd says TDOT will look at how speed relates to crashes. See if traffic is speeding while crashing. If they are, then uh, changing the speed limit won't make much of a difference. But if they're staying within the speed limit and still having crashes, then that's what they're looking at. Maybe it needs to be lowered. Johnson City Police Chief Billy Church talked about I-26 safety concerning law enforcement. JCPD plans to start an I-26 safety initiative with other agencies. The Johnson City Police Department will kick off their I-26 safety initiative on January 19th. Live in Johnson City, Jayana Scurry, News Channel 11. Back to you, Sarah and Casey.